Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I got another feature highlight for you. Today we're in SolidWorks. We're gonna be talking about how to add custom planes. And it's a really, really important feature. But before we jump in, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon so you can get updated every time I post these tutorials. I have a bunch of them now and I have a ton coming up in SolidWorks, in Fusion 360. I have a 3D printer I'm gonna be starting doing some reviews and, um, and tutorials about how to get into 3D printing, all sorts of different stuff, hit that subscribe button. So let us jump on in. I've got a cube, great. I think it's a really, really good feature to actually work with, a body to work with to uh, showcase this. So we're gonna be in the Features tab and we're gonna down click on Reference Geometry and click Plane. So how SolidWorks has set up their plane feature is actually really brilliant in my opinion and it really plays on the knowledge of what a plane really is. Geometrically, a plane is three points. It's the common commonality between three points. And so they have three different references you can select, which is awesome. But you don't have to use each three of them. So if you have a face, you can just click on a face and it'll give you different options like a parallel, perpendicular, and you can see it's gonna change where it is. And there's all sorts of different placements, it'll change. I'm not gonna go through everything just because there's so many options, especially as you start throwing in more references. So we're actually gonna delete that face. We're actually gonna click a line now. So again, a plane is a can also is three points. So a line is two points, so it could be a line and a point. That'll work just fine. And so what we can do is we can make it perpendicular, we can make it parallel, we can project it. Um, but we can also add one more point. And right now it's kind of screaming and saying, that's not valid, it's not gonna work. That's because, again, there are a lot of different options for a point or what's calling a vertex, an edge or a plane, but if they don't agree with each other, it's just not gonna work. So let's just change back to coincident. And right there, you can see it created this diagonal plane through this cube. Really, really cool. I love that, super awesome. So we're actually gonna delete all of these and we're gonna go back and just do a single vertex. This is actually something I did not know about this feature, which I've used quite a bit, and I, I, mean, I use it all the time. So as you use a single point, you have your coincide, and you have your project, but you also have this guy right here, which is create a plane parallel to the screen. So whatever I am looking at from that point, let's just create a plane. And that is awesome. I don't really know logistically, like in terms of if you're doing this for engineering projects, like how useful that would be, but it's still pretty cool. And maybe it is, maybe you have a view that you actually have set um, and you're able to, to get a plane that way. But it is still a really cool feature. You can also, uh, well, flipping is not gonna really make a difference until you add some distance. But really cool. I'm actually really, really impressed with that feature. Let's just go back to coincident though. And again, what is a plane? A plane is three points. It's the commonality between three points. So let's just add some points. And boom, you've got a nice plane right there. So that's really all I have for you today on how to manipulate and, and add these planes into SolidWorks. If you have any questions, if you, you've enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button, write those questions down below. I'd love to answer them. I'd also love to just know how you've been able to, to really manipulate this feature because it is the more you are able to, the more options you have. Um, it's something that really, really opens up a lot of possibilities for 3D modeling in SolidWorks. But yeah, thanks again for watching that. If you do have any questions, put them down in below. And as always, keep on modeling. Have a good day.